I'm actually in Virginia uh, in a courthouse. Hello everyone, I uh, wanted to take a minute and just tell you what's going on in my life right now. I'm actually in Virginia, in a courthouse. I uh, have an opportunity to film um, my second movie. I have a larger role this time, a very emotional scene. I've realized that we're being over here the past day or two and being on set uh, with all these amazing people is, you know, this story is actually really close to my heart. You know, this story is about forgiveness and in the movie there are parents that are killed and the children uh, need to forgive uh, the man that killed their parents. Sure, you can't imagine what that would be like, um, but after reading the script and seeing my part and I actually got to talk to, this is a real story by the way, 95% of it is like word for word what happened, reenactment of it, which is crazy. What I've reflected on and what I've learned is that when I look at this story, um, it, it's so much goes in line with my childhood and what I've experienced. Um, some of you don't know, I, I lost a sister when I was five years old in a tragic school bus accident in front of my house. And I watched my mom forgive the person. Uh, you know, it was an accident, it was a freak accident, there was a lot of stuff going on. But uh, at the end of the day, my seven-year-old sister um, died. And you can imagine how devastating that is if you have kids or don't have kids. Now that I have kids, I uh, now that I have kids, I think about it and I'm like, man, what would it be like to lose a child? And not only that, you know, um, I have three children. My parents had three children, and so, as, anyways, I'm just really connecting with this part and just really realizing that although I am someone in the movie that has to forgive someone, it's emotional, but. I think back to when I watched my mom forgive, and and it just brings it brings up these memories, but uh, but it's not hurtful. These aren't terrible memories. So I don't even know if any of this is making sense, but I'm kind of reflecting on it right now when I'm about to go film in the next hour here. Um, and you know, I'm just curious when people are mean to you, when people do bad things to you. Uh, when they don't deserve to be forgiven, do you choose to forgive? Because it is a choice. And if you don't forgive, then the only person you're hurting is yourself. And so uh, I really, really hope that this reaches someone uh, that no matter what happens, uh, choose forgiveness. Because what's on the other side, when this movie comes out and you're able to watch it and you're able to see this amazing story, I don't want to ruin the whole story, but but forgiveness is the most amazing gift. And not just to the person you're forgiving, but to yourself. So uh, I, I'll keep you guys posted on how it went. And uh, we're gonna have dinner, and then I'm gonna go to makeup, and uh, it's showtime. So super emotional scene. We'll see how I do. Have an amazing day, guys. Thanks for being a part of the journey. Hey guys, day two, the Brothers Crossing. Ricky, you're not in this, sorry. Peace, in the Middle East. We got the crew behind us, Ricky Borba. Yes. How do you feel about day two? Uh, I'm excited about day two because we just found out we got the courthouse all day, which was not the case an hour ago. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we're here in the courtroom, day two, grabbing a bite before we go crazy. With Film. 15 pages today. 15 pages. All right, so we're finishing up lunch. About to start day two. He's actually friends with the real JT. It's definitely a surreal experience. I met JT when he first started the ministry, My Brother's Crossing. He was asked to speak at a church, actually, that's across the road from my home. And I was singing at that event mm -hmm. for a fundraiser that's written about in the book. Mm -hmm. And we just became friends. I was fascinated with his story and the uh, Bobby and Pam actually live in my hometown, Floyd. So we just, we've kept in touch ever since and God definitely put us together. All right, so we're getting ready for a scene, entering the courthouse. Dylan is here. All right, what are we working on right now, Dylan? We're doing the courtroom scene right now. Yeah, we're getting ready for that. So entering the courtroom, 
yet or entering the room. There's a bunch of protesters out there. Uh, it's, it's a pretty big deal. But yeah, we're actually about to shoot right now. All right, we'll see you, man. Go get after it. Yes, sir. <laughs> we actually get to check out a little bit of the footage here. This is a vigil scene, super emotional. Yeah, so what's your name? Jessica Henson. So Jessica, what are you, what role are you playing in the Brothers Crossing? I'm playing the role of the Commonwealth Attorney. And is that what you do in real life? That's what I do in real life. Were you here? I was here. I was the one that handled this case. Wow, that's amazing. So what is it like being back here? Uh, it's kind of surreal. It's kind of crazy um, to come back and uh, do it in this capacity. So it's exciting. Well, good luck. Thank you. Action. what it looks like right after a scene's over. Good good cut there. And now they gotta break down and do it again. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Ruthie. Hello. And she and this is her first oh you get <laughs> this is her first feature film. So mm -hmm. tell me tell me what it like the main thing she learned so far. Is that a lot of how to act on set, how to relate to all those different departments and everything. Try not to get But do your job. I know. <laughs> Always I know. Be on your toes. Yeah. 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 I know. She did a pilot before. This is her first feature, so uh, really cool experience, right? It's great. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. One woman, one boom pole, one Hannah. <laughs> I'm here with boom pole Hannah. Uh, not a big deal. I didn't give her that name. Is that the name we gave you? It, it's the name that naturally came to you. Naturally came to you. I want to hear that story. <laughs> I was just on set and somebody said, uh, where's the boom? And then they said, boom pole, you know, and then it happened. <laughs> and boom pole Hannah was born. Yeah. You guys get a much deserved break. Good job. It's not a mental problem. We're in a lot of planning for our next set. I believe you. We're hard So we're in the courtroom now, getting ready to film inside the courtroom. And this is a real courtroom. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, we got uh, a lot of real security guards. All the main actors are in here. It's exciting. So I'm here with Chelsea. She is the makeup artist on set. And she's going to make me look beautiful yeah. I'm here in a little bit for my scene. So uh, what's been your experience so far on the Brothers Crossing? Oh my gosh, well this is my first time ever working in film. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been all new experiences. And I just really, really enjoyed it, honestly. Um, it's really and it's always new, really it's changing and happy. And I've met so many really cool people. And I'm excited for my future in film. <laughs> cool, we're well, glad to have you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm in wardrobe. Yep, yep, that's right. Behind the scenes. Bertie, hello. Hello. Okay, I'm in wardrobe and I'm about to be putting on, uh, I actually have a nice little jean, little jean shirt. People still wear those, right? All right, you guys have been here all day. Yes. We it's a wrap. How do you feel? You feel wonderful. Yeah. Very blessed to be a part of this. Yeah, good. Good. Glad you guys were here. And it's time. Day two, that's a wrap. Ricky Warba, how do you feel? Five, ten, and fifteen pages. Fifteen pages. It's, it's, it's because it's because of James. We're breaking records, y'all. Breaking, breaking records. So just got done filming my second movie. I had a very emotional scene with Danny Roebuck and James Black. Um, it was it was great. I was able to. In, in the movie, in the scene, I was forgiving uh, a character that had, I was forgiving a man that had killed my parents, and I was in prison. So it was emotional. I learned a lot. Um, 
really glad that I came to do this movie, and there's so much more in store.